Did you hear the rain pelting uh, your roof last night? I heard, yeah, I heard you, it. You've uh, experienced it on your windshield <laughs> this morning. It was pouring rain coming in. It was. Yeah. Well, the pouring rain yes. is out. Good. We're done glad, with that. Glad, yeah. At least for today. I don't know about the rest of the month, but we're done with it for today. Here's a look at <laughs> we've had enough. the Stoller Vineyard camera in date. Yes, we have had enough, and that is my very next graphic. But the clouds are trying to lift just a little bit, and the rain, the waterworks, has shut off, at least temporarily. Uh, to my point about how much rain we've seen, as of 5 o'clock this morning, so we are, what, what's today, the 14th? We are just under halfway through the month of May, and we are at 86% of our average May rainfall. And there's more where that came from. And, and why that's significant, of course, is because April was the wettest April on record. And as we look at the uh, outlook that gets us through the end of May, this is the outlook from the Climate Prediction Center precipitation probability through May 27th. You can see that the Pacific Northwest skews to uh, slightly above average rainfall. So good chance that we will come in. Well, good chance. I mean, it's pretty much a slam dunk. We will come in above average for the month of May. Do we get into any records? I don't know about that yet, but what I can tell you for sure right now is that the rain is diminishing across the area. We still have some pretty good showers in eastern Clark County, eastern Marion and Clackamas County. These are now pushing up into the Cascades. Uh, showers dissipating across the coast range. And in fact, over the last three hours, you can see we've got a nice little a, a drying wedge here that's tried to form here up and down the I-5 corridor. So again, the heaviest rain that we were going to see today has already fallen, right? That's out of here. And now we'll see, you know, a couple of sprinkles here and there. And even those two uh, will be diminishing in coverage as we go through the day. Future gas actually starts to poke some holes in the cloud cover by late this afternoon. So we may wind up with uh, some late day sunshine here in the Willamette Valley, and that would be nice, right? Okay, it's 53 in Beaverton, it's 50 in Hillsborough. It's a lot warmer right now than it was yesterday at this time for sure. 46 in John Day, Pendleton sitting at 47. To the Oregon coast we go. Showers diminishing pretty quickly this morning. It will be breezy with highs in the upper 50s for you through the Columbia River Gorge. Uh, decreasing showers, increasing sun breaks late today with a high near 70 in the Dalles and over across central Oregon. Probably a few spotty showers this morning, but becoming partly sunny late in the day with highs in the upper 60s. For the Willamette Valley and most of the I-5 corridor, future cast paints us generally in the low to mid 60s, still below average for this time of the year, but a little warmer than yesterday. Eastern Oregon getting into the low to mid 60s as well, and our seven day forecast. Uh, tomorrow there's a slight chance of showers and uh, we'll be a little milder still with highs near 70. Tim, I've got us dry, completely dry on Monday and Tuesday.